Hey everybody, how we doing? I'm doing great. Um, I'm very excited to be here on a Saturday. What's up, Brody? Good to see you again, my friend. Um, so we streamed Emerald last night, um, and we did some nice stuff, but um, my stream was kind of going out on Twitch um, right when we started fighting Watson. And I will just uh, give you a little spoil spoiler alert here. He absolutely destroyed us. So don't worry. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. Um, and that is an issue that you can run into. Sorry. That is an issue that you can run into when you start with Trico. Um, because Grovile just does not get very many good moves in the mid game. Especially not for... Um, to fight Watson with. Um, it is nice that he resists electric attacks, um, but we are going to have to go back to the drawing board a little bit. Um, so I came back to this route. We can fight a few more trainers, so I'm going to hop in here in between these two. Um, and we're going to get going today. So um, how's everybody's Saturday going? Mine's going very well. Um, we've had a really fun, chill day so far. My wife and I ran some errands. Um, sorry, I was wiping my nose. Excuse me. But, uh, let's see. Uh, you would think he would be good because he recesses it. Oh, he resists it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he just doesn't have any good offense against Watson, is the issue. Um, let's see. We're gonna bullet seed Meditite and we will headbutt Doduo. Actually, we probably should have double attacked Doduo because... Peck is probably going to do a lot of damage to our boy Piccolo, but that's okay. Um, nice, like a good four turn. Oh, perfect. Beautiful miss. Wasn't even a good move for him to use. Alright, so that will work out very nicely. One more headbutt, we'll get rid of the Dodo well. Mm. But like I said, Watson absolutely destroyed us. Um... We can pick up another level or two. Um, we might be able to be a little bit more prepared for the battle. Um, I'm really putting a lot of our experience into Piccolo and Ron right now, because like I said, they're going to stick with us. Um, oh, nice critical hit right through the growl as well. Um, yeah, so I've talked about this a little bit. If your stats get lowered... Um, by something like Growl, a critical hit will just hit right through that and hit as normal, so it's really powerful in that way. Lovely, got another level there. Perfect. Love it. So that could be helpful. Maybe won't make a huge difference, but really, we just want to be able to survive, like, more than one shockwave. That would be really sick. Um... I'm going to get Fudge Cake in here because he is just going to be so very helpful um, against one of Watson's Pokemon. And I don't I don't want to talk about it too much because <laughs> uh, I gave the battle a go off screen after the stream just went weird. Um, let, let's see. For Iron. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, oh, Fake Out. Here's Fake Out. Ah. And this is always going to flinch, which is lovely. Um, I'm going to see what an arm thrust can do, because vital throw is always going to hit second, and confusion is going to hurt. Can we get a nice four turn for the kill? We can! Love it! Mm. I do want to show off another fun shirt. Um, I love this shirt. This is my primal shirt. I don't know if I've shown this one off before. Um... But this is an animated show, Primal. It was on Adult Swim. I think it's on Max now. Um, really, really cool show. It takes place in kind of like a amalgam of prehistoric ancient times where a caveman befriends a dinosaur. But there's also like magical elements. Um, kind of like... It's very interesting, and it, it goes into a really interesting place specifically in the second season. Highly, highly recommend. It is very violent if you're not into that sort of thing, um, but it's great. Love Primal. Uh, perfect. So now we've defeated those trainers up there. 
We are getting lucky with the multi-hit moves, Brody. You are very right. This is the opposite of what was happening yesterday. Oh, and one thing I will, I think we are going to do, um, as you can see, we can find some Oddish here. I want to find a Roselia. We talked about Roselia a little bit. Um, I would love to catch one of those just to maybe help resist some electric attacks. Um, Oddish is the little guy. Oddish is just such a little guy. Um, so I remember when I played my original Ruby and Sapphire, Meryl is not going to be helpful for us at all. Um, but it, it is nice you can find them there. I feel like I played with Azumarill a lot growing up. But as I was saying, in kind of like my original Ruby and Sapphire playthroughs, I'll just uh, mute this while we go through the old grass. Um, I spent a lot of time just grinding in this grass um, because Watson was really hard. There's Ilumise. I'm pretty sure you can find Volbeat here as well. Um, but what I am looking for, like I said, is the Roselia. So um, I don't really know what a Roselia will know at level 13 or 14. Um, I could certainly look it up. But uh, I just want to have one to maybe give us a, a one more Pokemon to resist some of Watson's electric attacks if we ever need to, like, heal another member of our squad. Because, again, we're not using any hardcore rules. We're not using any Nuzlocke rules. Like, we can use our potions. I'm just ha trying to have a good fun time here, you know? Because there are a lot of times where... If I'm using a Pokemon and I want it to get experience and not die, I'm using a potion on it. I'm just going to keep it alive. Um, and I thought Roselia was a less rare encounter here. I know that you can catch them here in Ruby and Sapphire. I hope that's not different in Emerald. Um, because there are just some weird little changes like that in a lot of the games. All right. Let's see. Let's look up Roselia. I actually don't remember what um, route this is. Let's see. Let me pop over here. This is Route 117. That's actually what I thought. I should have trusted trusted my gut there. Um, okay. Perfect. Sorry, I'm kind of multitasking here, gang. Um... This is one part about playing Pokemon games that I, that I think is really fun um, because a lot of the way I play, I'm not really like, let's play one save file for like a million years. Hold on, I'll give you a little music. Um, I don't really want to play one save file for a million years. And, ah, I'm glad I checked. You cannot catch a Roselia here. You have to trade it from Ruby and Sapphire. Dang. Oh, that's so interesting. Um, okay, so I'll catch an Oddish. We'll see if that'll do what I want it to do. Ah, wow, I'm really glad I checked. It would know Stun Spore, though. That'd be crazy helpful. Hopefully this Oddish does. Um, oh, Brody, why do I stream on Twitch and not YouTube? Um, honestly, I don't know. I, when I first got into this, I wasn't sure what would be better. Um, I tried to look into it a little bit. Um... And I just kind of landed on Twitch. Um, I don't really have much more of an answer for you than that. Um, but I also thought since I was going to record them um, and put them on YouTube anyway, because that's usually how I consume YouTube content is like on demand. Um, so I thought that would be a good route to take is kind of stream them live over on Twitch, but then also have them on YouTube. That way I kind of have a foot in both spaces. I don't know if that's smart or not. Um, if anybody's got an Oddish name, just uh, sing it out. Um, hmm, Oddish is interesting. It learns Poison Powder at level 14. Um, that could come in handy. Maybe I could get Oddish one level. Um, can get it in like a double battle with one of my stronger Pokemon or something. Let's see here. Let me go back here. Um, you know what, Brody? Since you called Oddish the little guy earlier, Oddish will be known as Little Guy. Little Guy. 
Oh, also, I know a lot of people commented on this. I had, like, a pixel smoothing filter on here. I, like, didn't even really know what that was. But then I kind of realized I could, like, cycle through some filters here on this emulator because I had to change emulators because the Game Boy Advance ROMs, music wasn't working. It was weird. So I was using an emulator I, I wasn't, like, familiar with. Um, so this, for some of those people that didn't like that, I feel like this is better, maybe like a more, uh, one-to-one, -one, whatchamacallit, uh, representation of what you played as a child, or what one would experience on a Game Boy Advance, or in my case, the Cobalt Blue Game Boy Advance SP. Um, that is one of my prize possessions in my entire life. Um, all right, so we're gonna hop over here. I will let little guy catch one level um, so we can get him poison powder because that can maybe come in handy against the electric gym. And this is, this is actually interesting because I have so many team members planned that you get just a little later in the game, kind of like more in the mid game. Um, I don't usually have kind of like mercenary Pokemon <laughs> like this that I don't usually plan to use for the entire run. Um, but it's kind of fun. Um, ah, Ron, uh, little Guy is actually going to be really good against this Sandshrew here. Um, yes, Little Guy does get Sleep Powder, uh, Brody. He gets it at level 18. Um, I don't know if I want to invest the time to get Little Guy up five levels. Um, especially because the original idea was to, like, just make it so that he can maybe get one poison powder off, maybe resist one shockwave so I can pop a heal to somebody. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, we could just get completely screwed by everything <laughs> and really have to grind, um, which could be fun in and of itself. Um... Do, 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 do. But yeah, Brody, to answer your question, that's why I stream on Twitch. I don't have, like, the most thought-out reasons in the world, but that's just kind of how I landed on it. Excuse me. Alright, this should be fine. We should be able to work our way through this pretty quick. Pretty quick. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, there we go. Learn poison powder. That was pretty easy. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we need to do. Um. All right. All right. For anyone just joining us, we're uh, trying to train for Watson because yesterday I tried to defeat him and he annihilated me. Um. We just don't have a ton of good Pokemon to match up with him. Um, I'm actually going to hop down here, and I'm going to give Piccolo one more trainer down here that we did not fight on Cycling Road. We have this Fisherman. Well, we can we can go on Cycling Road now, but I meant like a trainer here uh, below it. Um, we have this Fisherman. He actually has a Pokemon that we have not seen before. Um, I thought it was going to be first, but not yet. Ah, uh, Poison Powder 14, Stun Spore 16, Sleep Powder 18. Thank you, Brody. Um, so yes, if we, if we need to grind our Oddish up, that is certainly, it's certainly possible to get Sleep Powder. Um, so that's good to know. Um, because... I don't want to spend too much time grinding for y'all, but I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes that's what it takes, baby. Sometimes that's what it takes. Um, but yeah, Tentacool is not the Pokemon we haven't seen yet. We have certainly seen a Tentacool before. Oh, nice critical hit for the one shot. That's amazing. Um, and I know there are actually a lot of trainers near Slateport City that we, uh, have not fought yet. Um, so we could make our way back down there if we need to. Um, 
I was really kind of saving some of them for, again, you know, some of our later team members. But this is Whalmer! It's a cute little whale Pokemon! It's such a great design, I love him. So wonderful. Um, a really cool new Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, I don't think we can catch one yet. Um, I really like Whalemur. I don't usually use one ever in my playthroughs, but I, Whalemur is delightful. Um, and he's got another Whalemur, which is why I wanted to use Piccolo in this fight. Um, is this also 14? Yes. Um, Whalemur and its evolution actually reminds me of the new Pokemon Snap. Um, if anyone, uh, maybe Willy the Whale, <laughs> that's right. Um, if, no, if you have not played the new Pokemon Snap on the Switch, I highly recommend it. I am a huge fan of the original Snap, um, and I thought new Pokemon Snap was awesome. I think it's so fun. Let's see. Um, okay, so I am going to try... I'm gonna try Watson again. Um, just kind of see where we're at. We have our boy, little guy now. We got an extra couple levels on Grovile, an extra level on Ron. Um, this will this will be this will be a nice little litmus test. <laughs> um, okay. So we'll pop in here, and like I said, he smoked us last time. I cannot, uh, I cannot describe just how poorly that went um, when we fought him last time. So let's give it a go. Okay, we got our boy Piccolo. I've given up on my plans to convert the city I have, and so I put time into making door traps in my gym. Okay. Yeah, I got past all your rig doors. They're pretty easy to get around. I, Watson, the leader of Mauville Gym, shall electrify you. I love how in this game they have the badge right behind them. That's something that isn't in Ruby and Sapphire, and I love that little detail. It's great. Um, okay. <laughs> Fudge cake, lol. What's up, Tech? <laughs> Good to see you. I know. That's a funny name. Um, we're giving Watson a try here. Thanks for joining. Um, uh, last stream, the stream that we had last night, my internet got weird right when we started this fight. Um, so I cut the stream short, but, oh, a nice critical hit there. Um, we got completely annihilated by <laughs> Watson. So I'm going to see if it goes better today. That's a good start. Great. Hopefully we can get a four or a five to maybe take out the Voltorb here. That would be great to see because I don't want him to explode. And that's three, and there it is. Uh, that's horrible. We do have a revive. We do have a revive. So we'll see if we need to use it. Um, my guess is that he's going to go into Electrike next. Um, so let's go with this. Yeah, I don't think we have the ability to buy revives yet, but by fighting those couple double battles, we were able to get that revive past that cut tree, and that could be the key to our success here. Um, oh, I'm sorry about the chat. Um, let's see. <laughs> Watson, you are so dumb. <laughs> End stream. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so one thing about, uh, ugh, hate that. One thing about, um, the electric types in here, I'm gonna swap in to Ziggy, actually, is that they all have this move Shockwave, and I described it last stream, um, ah, he used a super potion, that's okay, because I'm gonna try to get some potions off myself, which is why I swapped into, swapped into Ziggy. Um, they all know this move Shockwave, and it is a move that can't miss. So it would be really nice to be able to make use of Ron's Mud Slap there, but it's not going to be crazy helpful. Um, I don't hate him using Growl because 
or not growl, howl, to raise his own attack. Because if I swap into Ron, that's not going to make a ton of difference. He's probably going to use Shockwave anyway. Okay, I was hoping Ziggy could live one. Um, <laughs> Shockwave annihilates in this game. You are so right, dude. Um, okay, so I am going to swap in... I'm going to swap in Cloud. And I'm going to get my Grovile back up to speed. Let's see. With a Super Potion. Ba -ba 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 -da -da. And this will completely destroy Cloud, that's okay. Um, all right. So now, man, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna send in a little guy and we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna get off a poison powder. Another howl, oopsie daisy. Okay, great. And then I'm going to bring in Ron. But let's see. Hurt by poison, yes. <laughs> the infamous sacrificial party member. You are so right. I am full of them right now. Um, okay, we'll use a paralyzed heal on Ron. Something I might do is on a next attempt, I might give um, Ron a cherry berry. All right, so here's what I'm going to do here. Oh, Watson's the type of guy to be scared of an axolotl. That... He would be so scared if we had a Marsh Tomp. We would be smoking him right now. I'm going to try to predict a quick attack into Ron that hopefully we can resist nicely. All right. Nice. Pro play, pro play. I'm full of them. I'm full of them. Um, all right. So we... I'm going to try to use Mud Slap to try to avoid the paralysis. Uh, Shockwave is still going to do more than half to run, no. Um, all right. I might just try to potion stall this electric. <laughs> I'm pulling out all the stops, kids. Um, let's see. Because he's going to keep using Shockwave. If I attacked, he would have just outsped me and killed me in one Shockwave. Because, let's see, if I can just do this, there we go, all right, speed through this a little bit, all right, and now I'm just going to hit myself with another super potion, and this will hopefully not critical hit me, okay, good, great, <laughs> Helpful. <laughs> All right. Leader Watson's using Magneton. Yes. This is why we wanted Fudge Cake. Because um, Fudge Cake can do some nice stuff against our friend Magneton. But now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. All right, this will be a free one damage. <laughs> I don't know if vital throw if, if Fudge Cake survives one shockwave. We're gonna find out. Oh, it went with Sonic Boom instead. You love to see that. I will take the crap out of that. Alright, that did okay. Um, Alright, it goes for it now. I don't, I don't think Fudge Cake has this in him. It sure don't. It sure don't. But we still have a little guy. All right, we're gonna bag it. Back to the super potion well. All right, because Ron's got Mud Slap, and Mud Slap isn't going to be super great against our friend Magneton. Oh, nice little guy. Okay, um, I'm going to try to heal little guy right now. I don't know if that is going to help or not. Um, it would be nice to poison his final Pokemon. Um, let's see. I'm gonna swap into Piccolo. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Yes, Makuhita does have really bad special defense. We should be able to withstand one shockwave here. Um, I don't know what to do against this Magneton. We have so little options, so few options. Um, uh, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's in the stars, man. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go in a little guy. Yeah, ground type is the only way to go. I don't really even remember if there are any other ground types besides uh, Marsh Tom that you can get um, at this point in the game. Are there any? Mm, Fudge Cake does evolve in like five levels. Um, let's see what we can do here. Little guy, you were great. You just were wonderful. The other thing... Oh, we love to see a supersonic miss there. That's great. Oh my gosh. He's probably going to potion here, but I'll take that. Um, okay. That is great. If he decides he wants to use supersonic or maybe thunder wave again, maybe it'll miss now. I know shock wave is always going to hit. Um, that's annoying. <laughs> Because su Supersonic isn't even 100% accurate as it is. Oh, man. Guys, we are in a dogfight with Watson right now. Um, this will probably kill Ron. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, okay. There is a world. I do have Rock Smash. I could teach that to something. Right now, it's just on my Zigzagoon. I could teach that to Piccolo. That could come in handy. Um, I'm going to see what we can do here with... If we can kind of get to the Magneton and, like, potion stall a little bit, that's great. Hold on, I'm going to speed through a little bit because we're going to be bullet seeding a lot. Um, love to see Thunder Wave miss. Those mud slaps are kind of coming in handy. If we can kind of make our way through it right now... Okay... Oh, ah, uh, well, we can't use Rock Smash outside of battle yet, Tech. That is a great idea. Um, because Tech is referring to, like, if you use Rock Smash on um, some of the rocks on the north end of town, you can sometimes find Geodude in there. Um, but, okay, okay. We have the Magneton out of the way. Um... And Piccolo should be able to do a lot better of a job against his final Pokemon, Mainetric. Now, this Pokemon, I hate to see it use Howl because it's going to try to raise its attack to kill us with Quick Attack. Now, love to see a crit. Let's see some more. Um, okay, I really, really don't want us to lose. Uh, <laughs> shocker. Um, let's see. How much does this do? Oh, that does a lot! That does more than it should! Okay. Um, alright, we're gonna bag. I've got six super potions left. I do have a hyper potion, and that will heal me to full health. Um, okay, and I can heal off my paralysis one more time. I have one more paralysis heal. Um... Okay, great. Overgrow, that's a good point, my friend Brody. That's a good point. Um, the only issue is... Oh, wait, no. Hyper, uh, Super Potion will get me to full here. The only issue is... Um, if I'm in Overgrow, it's going to be in range to kill me with a quick attack. Um, but am I... F Ooh, I don't want to test that, actually. Because I don't want to get hit with static, either. Um, guys, we might be able to do this. I might have enough super potions. <laughs> nice critical hit. 
Um, can I get another one? Okay, great. It's gonna use a berry. Great. This will take it out of like super potion range, I think. Um, let's see. Um, should have been, well, you are right about Fury Cutter. The only issue with Fury Cutter is we were paralyzed and I was afraid we wouldn't be able to get it to stack. And, um, uh, if we make physical contact with Manectric, it could love the crit. It could paralyze us with static. So that's kind of why I, I was thinking about Fury Cutter. I'm with you, Tech. Um, but, okay, this is okay. We have another Super Potion. We have three left. Um, let's see. I'm interested to see a five hit should take care of it. I'm also just like crossing my fingers that we don't get a critical hit quick attack. Um, oh, that's brutal. But what if, will I outspeed? Do I outspeed? I don't remember. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, do I heal or use quick attack? I think I'm gonna heal. I think I'm gonna heal. I still have two super potions. I think that's safer. Because if he still outspeeds with quick attack, I will definitely lose. Um, okay. I'm just gonna use bullet seed. Or I can try a quick attack here to see if I outspeed. That's good. I don't. Okay, so that's good to know. Okay, good. Does this kill? Yes! <laughs> oh, that is awesome! Oh, uh, I'm so glad he didn't super potion tech. Uh, what a great fight. Oh, uh, my gosh. I'm sure, like, Nuzlocke or, like, Challenge Run's Pyrrhus are, like, screaming because I was just abusing super potions. But that was so fun. Oh, that was so fun. Um, do I want to get rid of anything for Screech? Do you think I should maybe get rid of Absorb for Screech? I find Screech can come in handy sometimes. Um, and Screech Quick Attack could be a pretty good combo. Um, get rid of Fury Cutter, Brody? What do you think, Tech? Should I get rid of Fury Cutter or Absorb? I think Absorb too. Yeah, because it's just so weak right now. Um, and we really don't gain that much uh, health from it. Yeah, I'll get rid of Absorb. We'll, st we'll stick with Bullet Seed. Um, guys, that was riveting. That was so great. Oh, wa ha 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 ha. Fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. Oh, yeah, it's it's only 20 power in this game, Brody. Um, oh. Ba 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 da. Da, da. And that's the Dynamo Badge right there on the wall behind Watson. With the Dynamo Badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash outside of battle. There you go, uh, Tech. I'll make your Pokemon a little faster. That's right. Um, and Watson actually gives us the TM4 Shockwave. And we might be able to use that later. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, and from here on in, all the gym leaders will register you in your uh, Pokenav. So, now that we have defeated Watson <laughs> with our uh, completely not super, super cheap strats, um, let's see. Oh, Ziggy gets it? Ah, yeah, but Ziggy's kind of behind, and we're not really going to train him, honestly. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, we're not going to train Ziggy. Um, okay, that's no big deal. I'll just pop up here. I need to buy some more super potions. So let's do that. I think I still had one left. Um, beer. I'm really glad that I bought all of those before the battle. Just buy 11. Give us a nice 12. Um, let's see. That's okay. <laughs> After Ziggy, no love and respect. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I respect Ziggy. So much. She cuts down trees for us. Come on. Um, da, 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 da. Ah, yeah, Lion Noon is pretty good. Um, but we are going to get our next team member. Oh, someone, someone commented 
what the name of our next team member should be. And I forget what it is. Guys, hold the phone. Hold the phone for one second because someone already called dibs on the next name. And it is in the chat of Guzzle. <laughs> that's what we that's what we will name our next team member, Guzzle. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, it is just Gen 3 for it. You're very right about that, is Linoon. Um, Zigzagoon evolves into Linoon, which is cute. First it's a zigzag, then it's a line. Wonderful. Um, we're going to skip this double battle for now. This is also interesting, and we will come back to that. Here is something called Trainer Hill. Scale the heights, you hot-blooded trainers. This is like a cool little building inside of a mountain. Um, and it's like another battle facility type thing, like we talked about. Um, with the battle tent. Um, or at least I think it is. Right? I don't know anything about Trainer Hill, if I'm being honest. Um, trainers come to Trainer Hill from, Trainer Hill from all over. Um, but yeah, we were talking about like, oh, if I go up here, there it says, uh, where you may enjoy tag battles with many trainers. Oh, okay, cool. So I can, we can come back to that later if we want to. I never do it. I am not someone who does Trainer Hill ever. Um, oh, it's just like the Battle Tower. That's that's cool. Um, so now we can pop up here. Ooh, we also need to pop over to Verdanturf Town, which we will do in a second. Oh, it's with rentals. Interesting. Um, actually, I'm going to do that first. We're going to go down here. Sorry, guys. Um, pop on my mock bike. Whoosh. Whee! This is a great spot to ride your bike. Lovely. All right. So now we are here. And we can reunite our uh, lovely couple. Get past this Whismer here first. I only have one more repel. I can't wait till we can buy more. So now we can break our rock with our boy Ziggy, or our girl Ziggy. <laughs> Rice her Ziggy. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. <laughs> wow, you shattered that boulder blocking the way to show you how much I appreciate it. I'd like you to have this HM. Ooh, this is the HM for strength, which is good. We'll need that later. Um, if a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even large boulders. Ah, uh, Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest at my home. Ah, uh, reunited. It's wonderful. Uh... Ooh, Tex says, always use Loudred. Um, Whismer evolves into Loudred. And uh, I do like Loudred, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just got, I got some fun plans. I got some fun plans. I want to, I want to use some, I want to use some curveballs. Um, Whismer is definitely, take it from Tech. If you want to use a Whismer on your playthrough, it's going to be really good. Um... All right, so we'll pop up in here. Okay. So now we'll go up here and we will smash these rocks. Um, I don't think that's a trainer yet. Oh, this is interesting. Um, we will fight them in a minute. I'll come back to them. We might have to fight some of these people. Oh, here's something I'm going to test. Some people were saying that my strategy to skip people that spin... Oh, yeah. They won't look back if you just walk by them. I always thought they would look back if you walked by them, but no. No. My life is a lie. <laughs> um, let's see. Have you asked Ziggy if she wants to smash the rocks? You know what? I haven't. I have not been too considerate of Ziggy. Here is a new Pokemon that you can find. Nummel. It is such a cute little fire camel. It's a ground and fire type, which is really interesting. I, When I was planning our team here, I actually considered using Nummel, but I have something else in mind. Okay, here we go. I skipped a lot of trainers to get here because I was excited. Um... So, this is an area that we're going to come back to 
after I catch our next team member. This is the fiery path. As you can see, the steam is coming off the floor, um, which is really neat. Um, yes. Oh yeah, the number line is good. Um, having access to ground moves is great. Um, the drawback is, of course, it's really weak to water. Um, but you know, you're our new team member, Torkoal, baby. Um, this is a cool Pokemon. It is like kind of like a furnace tortoise Pokemon. Um, I really wanted to use Torkoal on this run. I've like never really used it. Um, Blast Tortoise! That's right. Um, it is a really good Pokemon that, um, oh, that's great. As you can see, our Mud Slap did not, um, <laughs> your favorite Gen 3 fire type, Slugma. Um, Slugma's a Gen 2 fire type. Um, <laughs> Blastoise, if you will, that's hilarious. Um, as you notice, our... Mud Slap did not lower Torkoal's uh, accuracy because Torkoal has a has a really good ability called White Smoke, um, and it prevents you from having your stats lowered by another Pokemon, which is great. Um, good thing we bought some great balls. I actually don't know how tough a Torkoal is to catch. Mm. All right. Um... So let's see. So this is from last stream. Um, I believe it was JJ. Thank you, JJ, for the suggestion. We're going to name this Torkoal Guzzle. Um, let's see. But I got it. I got it. First ball, baby. Um, awesome. So yeah, Torkoal is a really cool new Gen 3 Pokemon. We're actually going to encounter one later in our playthrough. Um, and I should have left a slot open, um, just in case we accidentally run into one of these trainers. Hopefully we don't. Um, I don't even know if he'll see you that far away, but... Okay, great. We're doing great so far. Um, but, um, our next gym battle, um, is a fire-type trainer, and she actually uses a Torkoal, and it is really good. Um... One thing I'll say about Generation 3, I find that the games are usually balanced pretty well to where the gym leaders are tough in a very good way. Um, oh, there we go. He got us. He got us. But yeah, as you can see, I was skipping a lot of those trainers. I wanted to get Torkoal before we fought everybody, you know. Um... Let's see. I don't think this sand shrew knows um, a ground move yet, which would annihilate our boy Ron. Do, 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 do. Awesome. All right. So once we get our boy Guzzle out of the PC. This is how I always skipped trainers. When they turned away, I would... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't skip them, I would just run into them. Um, that's funny. Um, at least I was able to skip those first couple. Let's see. Um, I forget what I was even saying. Uh, nice flinches, Ron. Good work. Great work. Um, yeah, that's, again, that's why I'm skipping a lot of these trainers. I just want to get back to them here. Oh, Meryl, I'll use Piccolo. That's no, <laughs> here's how I would skip trainers. So I would, <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is exactly what happened. Um, that was a lovely example of my, of my folly. We'll skip through this a little bit. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, there are a few kind of cool novel trainers that you can fight on this route above Marvel City. Um, and I'll get into that here once we make our way back down and get our Torkoal out of the PC. 
Burr. Okay. Okay. Let's grab her. Okay. Oh, I want to show off the box in this game. It is so easy. You can just pick them up, go to your party, swap them out, put them in. It's so much easier than it was in Generation 1 and 2. It is such a huge upgrade in this game. Shout out. Gosh. Love the PC in this game. Um, there we go. Yes. And as you can see, we had to catch our Torkoal at level 15. Um, which, again, I know I've said this a million times. But that's why we're skipping a lot of trainers. Um, I feel like I've said that too much, sorry. So yeah, we have that white smoke ability. It prevents ab ability reduction. And we have Ember there, which our girl Guzzle, her moveset isn't... Um, <laughs> good thing we did not put Ziggy in the box. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta have those, uh, those HMs with Ziggy. Um, Guzzle does not have the best moveset as of right this moment, but Guzzle actually... It's really good because I looked at a Torkoal's moveset before when I was planning our team for the run, um, and it learns Flamethrower naturally, which is really, really good. Um, something that we definitely want. Ah, nice. I love that fire on there. And that is great to have against um, Shroomish there. We'll use a Mud Slap on Numble. Because it could have a ground move at this point, and hopefully we can get it to <laughs> miss. Uh, oh, what's up, Jinx? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. How you doing? Um, we're playing through Emerald. We had a crazy fight with Watson. I encourage you to, uh, once we're finished here. Oh, good. Thank you. Once we're finished here, I encourage you to check out our fight with Watson. It was crazy. Um, let's see. Um, yes, Gen, Gen 3's PC orga organization was just awesome. Um, yeah, that's not going to do a lot to a Numble, an Ember. We'll see if it is enough to kill it anyway. Um, let's see. Watson is the Electric Gym Jinx. Yeah, um, we chose Trico, which is really not good against... Watson, specifically because it doesn't have very many good offensive moves to use against it. Like, it can resist the Electric-type moves. Um, I guess we could have taught it Rock Smash, but I didn't want to do that. Um, let's see. Do we want to teach Roar? I don't care about Roar. Um, and I think there's a Roar TM if we really want Roar at some point on Ron. Ooh la la, that's a hot take. That's a lot to take, she said, not a hot take. Um, this is kind of annoying. I need to go heal that Paralysis off of Torkoal because I am out of Paralysis heals. I probably should have, should have bought some. I'll do that while I am doing this. There we go. Uh, good defense but not good offense? Yeah. For the Electric Gym. But again, if we had, if we started with Mudkip, we would get Marsh Tomp. And Marsh Tomp has access to um, the move Mud Shot, which is just a really nice, like, mid-level um, ground-type move that would have been just a godsend against Watson. And the ground-type completely resists, um, completely resists um, Electric-type moves. Um, yeah, um, Iran's growth rate is kind of slow. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, get a retro handheld to play the old games? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's really cool. So this is interesting. Um, oh, yes, Brody, I see what you're talking about. Um, I think we should be fine now, hopefully. Um, but... This is a family of trainers. They are the Winstrit family. And what you do is you can take them on 
four battles in a row, and it's a fun little challenge right here outside of town. Um, and this is something that we could have utilized um, ahead of Watson had we needed to. Um, but now we got Guzzle in the fold. So, one thing, I definitely am going to want Guzzle to not die, but Guzzle is another one of those Gen 3 Pokemon. Um, it is a new Pokemon that doesn't evolve. Um, it's a lot like Sableye or like Roselia, to where it's like really powerful kind of in the mid game, but then in the late game, it might start to tail off a little bit, but we're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. Um... Mmm. Yeah. Um, the 3DS tech is is great. Um, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong. Have they shut down the service for... Um, whatchamacallit? The 3DS? Like the Nintendo eShop? Oh, not a modded 3DS? I see. Um, you could also play on emulator like I am. I mean, I know that's, you know, that's a popular thing that a lot of people do. Because that's how I'm playing this game today, and I just play on my computer. All right. There's our first trainer, Winstrick Victor. So I believe you fight the husband... The husband, then the wife, then the daughter, then the grandma. Um, and the grandma is my favorite. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, the retro handhelds are emulators. So you really enjoy, like, having the handheld. I get that. That's, like, the full experience. Because that's, you know, even though I'm playing the games that I played on my SP, it's still not, like, the exact experience, you know. I uh, hate, hate to see Sunspore. It makes me sad. Um, do, 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 do. But this could... Okay, two shot. That's fine. Oh, nice! That burn helps because, yes, I do think they have a berry. Um, and let's see here. With the burn, can another ember kill it? No, not quite. Um... One good thing that I love about getting paralyzed is that you can't get put to sleep or poisoned. <laughs> um, yes, Grandma does have a Metatite, you're right. Um, I, I'm going to do... Ah! There is a YouTube video for everything, Jinx. <laughs> it is so funny. I mean, YouTube videos are how I learned how to... How I learned, like, the very bare basics of how to stream. <laughs> Um, I'm still, I'm still really new to it. I don't have, like, a crazy setup or anything. Do, do, do. So here's the daughter. I don't remember what she has. She has three Pokemon, which is annoying. Alright, I'm actually gonna swap out, and I'm going to... Oh, Ziggy's got an item. Good thing we kept Ziggy around, Brody. Okay, defense curl, that is fine. I'm actually going to heal this paralysis off of our girl. Well, we can use an HP up. I have our girl, Guzzle. Great. Um, ah, rollout. Rollout is a great move. I remember we famously could not use that on our Dunsparce <laughs> in our Crystal playthrough. I just could never get rollout to do what I wanted it to do. It would always miss or whatever. Um... But I love how in this game you like go back farther and the rocks get bigger every every turn you uh, every turn you use it. But Meryl's not gonna get to go very far. Our boy Piccolo is uh, is just too is just too strong, man. Just too strong. Um, it is kind of interesting that Piccolo is not a good matchup against the next gym either, which is funny. Uh We'll use... We'll just use Cloud for the Nummel. That water gun is really going to be able to make quick work. <laughs> Justice was gotten. <laughs> Thanks, Brady. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know a lot of people really like Mudkip and Torchic. I just, Trico, Trico, <laughs> hashtag justice for Ziggy. The movement, the movement is uh, spreading. Um, let's see. Um, I feel like Trico, I feel like Torchic and Mudkip maybe are the more popular of the Gen 3 starters, but I feel like all of them, it's a really, really solid trio, I think. It's one of the stronger, like, trios all the way through, um, as far as starters go. Um, Leech Seed is a really strong move, man, if you can keep it for a while, but let's see. Oh yeah, we're fine. Oh yeah, you use a Trico a lot too? Yeah, I've, I've used all three, um, but uh, I knew when I wanted to do this on stream, Trico was going to be the choice. Because it's just my favorite. Um, this is actually really interesting. Um, oh, that's nice of you, Tech. Ah, Ziggy with Belly Drum can sweep the Elite Four. You might not be wrong. I like what happens here. <laughs> this stinks. Ah, oh, Snivel Grandma. So the girl cries a little bit. Makes me very sad. But then the grandma's just like, how dare you make my granddaughter cry? For that, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> Nice, nice little bit of color. Grandma's feisty, you know? Um, and she's got a Metatite. This Metatite is actually really interesting. Am I gonna sneeze? Nope. Um, this Metatite is really interesting because it knows the move High Jump Kick, which is a really strong move for this point in the game. So Grandma's a little, uh, a little mini boss. Hopefully. Hopefully that attack boosted high jump kick doesn't kill us, and it does. Oh no. Let's see. Um. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, Mudkip is such an easy play. Um, high jump kick will destroy Ron, but one, I'm hoping we can get a flinch, and two, I'm hoping we can get a miss. Er. Oh no, that's definitely gonna kill Ron. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll use Fudge Cake. Because we can get the fake out for sure. Hopefully we can live one of the high jump kicks. I'm going to use the sand attack. There we go. Kept going and crashed. Oh, wow. Okay, so that just completely destroys it in this game. In other games, high jump kick does way less damage when you miss. But in this game, it does a lot, <laughs> as you can see. All right, Qua, you are strong. My granddaughter was right. So now once you beat her, she's just like, you're cool, man. If you're not in any hurry, visit with us a while. And they, <laughs> SCG use protect. So this is really interesting. If we hop in here, I think it's the mom that gives it to us. We use this Macho Brace to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you've beaten all of us here, I don't know if you need it, but we would like you to have it. Thanks, mom. Um, <laughs> yes. All right, so this Macho Brace, it's not something we're going to use now. It is kind of like an advanced item where it increases the effort values you gain for defeating Pokemon, and uh, we're going to get into that later. I'm not going to say why, but we're going to get into that later. That's not really something we're going to worry about now um, because as we've been playing through the game, every time our Pokemon has defeated a Pokemon, um... They are, we're an hour in. Um, every time they defeat a Pokemon, they will gain an effort value for defeating that Pokemon in a certain stat. And this is kind of like an invisible stat increase that they can get. Um, but only two can be maxed out and you can only have like a certain amount. It's kind of like a complicated little system. Um, <laughs> don't tell him that! Uh, I guess you're right. I am gonna go a little, just a little bit longer today. Um, you know what? You were saying give the Macho Brace to, um, Iran? I think I will, for now. Um, the only thing about the Macho Brace is that it halves the attack, the, not the attack, the speed of your Pokemon, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna give this HP up to, um, a Guzzle. There we go. I don't want to stop watching. I get you. I get you. Um, uh, so what the Macho Brace does is that it increases the amount of effort values to, that you get, but it lowers your speed in battle, which is, you know, a trade-off. 
Ah, oh, I got an X attack from Ziggy. <laughs> Aron is slow anyway, you're right. Um, I'm gonna sell this X attack, actually, because I never really use them. There we go. I'm gonna hold on to our one repel. Do we... Do they sell repels here? Did I just miss that? No, they don't. Um, okay. So we're gonna get out of here. We gonna get out of here. Um, so like I've said a million times, there are some trainers that we'll come back to, but for now, we're gonna press on. Um, we'll go up north here. There we go. And yes, I wanted to showcase these trainers. These are trainers that kind of pop up throughout your playthrough. Um, they are um, an interviewer and her cameraman. Um, and it's just like a fun little double battle that you can do throughout the game. And I'll tell you about it after this. They have their own special music. It's very neat. Ah, we've just spotted a tough looking trainer here of all places, roll camera. So what these people do is that they double battle you and then they interview you. And if you give them an interview, um, what you say will be broadcast in the TVs in the houses all around the region, which is a super cool, just like detail that they didn't need to add, but just adds so much color to the world. It's lovely. The interview is like really simple <laughs> and I'll actually show it to you. We'll do one. Um, Let's see. Duh. <laughs> Tell them they're pathetic. I suppose I could. Just really dump on them. Doo, doo, doo. Ah! I did not want Guzzle to flinch. That makes me angry. But that's okay. I feel like Guzzle is kind of in a slow level up group too. I'm actually not sure. So I might have made this run hard on myself, but <laughs> this ain't nothing compared to what I have planned. Um, I'm, I'm planning on doing a, a, a few tough things this run. You might uh, you might see me suffer a little bit. <laughs> Which I'm excited about. It'll be great. Um, I always say, you're weak or something like that. Ugh, I don't know, Tech. I have, I have too much of a tender heart to tell them how terrible they are. Ooh, fire spin. Um, not a good move, but maybe we can use it now. Um, mm, you know what? I like Curse. I like Smoke Screen. Smog could come in handy for the coverage. We won't learn Fire Spin. It's actually a very bad move. Um, <laughs> be mean. <laughs> All right. I'll be mean. They're only pixels anyway. Just know that this is not what I, in real life, would do. Awesome, awesome. Who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please, let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of your time? Absolutely. So what you do is you describe your feelings about the battle, but you can only do like one word. Um, let's see. Feelings. Um, I could do beat. Um, let's see. Or... Ooh, or disaster. I like disaster. Like they're a disaster. Love it. You're a disaster. Hmm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. <laughs> so you only give them a one word answer. Um, so yeah, there's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure you look out for us. So if we, <laughs> disappoint. Um, so if we go into a house, I don't know if it'll air immediately. I'm gonna test it out actually. Let's hop down here. This rock's still gone. Um, I don't know if it airs immediately. Let's see. Does this person have a TV? They do, ah, look here. Something's on the TV. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting an area near Route 111. We're trying to spot some up and coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens on trainer SCG. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is is the fastest way is to battle. That's how we ended up battle with SCG in a dominating performance. We were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. SCG is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impressions after having battled our featured trainer. 
The combination of Torkoal and Iran was divine. The sight of them, Torkoal and Iran, selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Headbutt was the move the trainer used last in our battle. And the move headbutt is Torkoal and Iran's sign of friendship. Aw. After our battle, we asked SCG for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, disaster. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um... Then the broadcast ends. So now you can fight them again. It's later in the game, um, but we can do that again. So that's a neat little detail. I really like that. Um, <laughs> Brody, you are just hard on Ziggy. I'm sorry, dude. I'm probably not gonna train Ziggy. I'm really not. I'm sorry. Um, he's She's still a, a valued member of our team. Valued member. Um, but uh, probably not going to be a valued battler on our squad. Let's see. All right. So now that we've done that, I'm glad we were able. I was able to show off the the TV broadcast. That is a really fun thing that they added in this gen. Um. So we will pop back up here once again. Um, yes, we fought him. Uh, I believe one or both of these trainers have some grass types, so we can so we can keep uh, leveling up Guzzle, keep leveling leveling her up, leveling her up. <laughs> One you throw at trees, at rocks, and at water. It's true. Ah, uh, yes, he does have a Nuzleaf. Oh, yeah, I think he has a Nuzleaf, and the next trainer after him might have a Lombre, if I'm not mistaken. There are a lot of those trainers where, where they will have, like, a Nuzleaf and a Lombre, or, like, 111 will have a Nuzleaf, one will have a Lombre. They're really big companion Pokemon in this gen. Like, Lotad and Dot. I think there is a... Uh, yeah, one of the first double battles that you get into in the game is a C Dot and a Lotad. Very big companion Pokemon for this gen. Um, but uh, <laughs> the idea of bashing the raccoon against rocks and trees. The Pokemon contest in Emerald, um, I think, yes, I think they do still have Pokemon contests. I think they moved it to a later point, or is there one in Slateport that I missed? Um, because I know that there used to be a Pokemon contest hall in, um, Verdant Turf, but now it's a battle tent. Um, and yes, Pokemon contests are, like, this way that you can compete with Pokemon without actually battling. It's kind of like a, like a pageant, almost like a dog show type of feel was, like, the idea behind Pokemon contests. Um, oh, there's one in almost every city. Oh, okay. Um, Lombre here. Ooh, Guzzle's not... I think it's. it'll be fine. I don't know if Lombre knows a water move yet. So we can probably still go with Ember. Swift is gonna be okay. Oh, Smog will technically be super effective. Um, see how much that does. Oh yeah, Absorb will do two damage. Yeah, it, I, think, I think it is... Um, I think they are contest halls in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Emerald they wanted to like focus on the battle tents. Okay, that does about as much as Ember. Um, but I think there are still contest halls in Emerald. I think there are just fewer. Um, and when we get to one, I'll kind of like show you what that is. Maybe we'll do one. Um, I know that you can kind of like, you can feed your Pokemon these things called Pokeblocks. Um, and what that does is it will increase, um, actually, let me show you. Let me show you here. Here, if you look at Guzzle, um, ah, because here is, like, what our moves normally are, and here it shows what those moves are in a contest. So Ember is a beautiful move. Smog is a tough move. Smokescreen is a smart move. And that's kind of, like, what, um... Part of how contests work, um, it's interesting. It's not like 
something again that I'm super familiar familiar with. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can check. Like they have, I thought they had like a little chart that shows like their beauty or their coolness or whatever. Check Ziggy's moves. Okay. Um, maybe Ziggy could be a contest Pokemon. Maybe we could uh, do some tough contest stuff with Ziggy. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I know in Diamond and Pearl they are like improved. Oh, a nice antidote. Love to see it. Um, and I want to fight this trainer because uh, this, I think this person just has three Geodudes. Um, we'll just let Piccolo take care of it. Um, this is a very special trainer. My legs are solid from pounding up and down mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. Um, I always remember this hiker because his name is Hiker Trent. Um, and he's got three Geodudes. I'm pretty sure he has three Geo Geodudes. And they will just be absolutely annihilated very quickly by my boy Piccolo. So, Although I love Hiker Trent, he has a very special place in my heart. He uh, must be destroyed. And he will be. He will be. Only a matter of time. That's why we're speeding through. There we go. Mm hmm. Well, all right. So Piccolo's up to 24. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid using Piccolo a little bit because he's a little bit above the rest of our squad. Um, but, um, uh, there we go. We do register him in our Poké now, so hopefully I get stronger. Um, but folks, I, unfortunately, have to continue with my regular life. Hold on, well, let's see what Ziggy has. Ziggy's picking up items left and right. Thanks for the repel. Um, and uh, I think this will be a good place to call it. Um, we have to make our way through the fiery path. Um, and that will take us to the next part of the game. And that will open things up for us. Um, because if you look up here... Um, I don't want to run into that guy. But you can see right there in the corner, there are like some legs... Um, of people in red. Those are some Team Magma Grunts. Let me just... Yeah, there they are. Some Team Magma Grunts. Um, and they are blocking our way to get up the mountain. So we have to go through the fiery path. Um, you have a good day, Tech. Thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate that. Um, but I'm really excited to come back um, with some more Emerald next week. This has been great. Um, yesterday I was kind of disappointed with the internet uh, going out, so I was happy to do a little bit of a longer stream today. So thanks for stopping in, folks. Um, I really appreciate you. Have a great day. Um, peace.